Hi guys, Candy Toy Box here. Today we're going to talk about the first candy message board. And also this video ties in with the last one. So if you missed that, I will put that video in the description box. And at the end of this video, I'm going to make a couple singles to go with this video. So I just have a assorted mix of beads and then I have some letter beads down here and then two small strings but anyway so you're gonna put your mindset back in O2 we didn't have Facebook or MySpace or Instagram or any of that some people still didn't have computers in their house we still had landline phones like the internet was slow as shit it's nothing like we have today so in O2, first I'll say this is Heather. Her rave name was Pink and then my husband Atari. In 2002, Heather created the first Candy Candy Kid message board. So this was pretty groundbreaking. Like I said, you know, internet, we didn't have much. And this was the first place where, where you could find like-minded people you know other candy kids and we we traded candy we had forums and discussions it it was pretty amazing because eventually we had candy kids from all over and that's that's when things really got cool online that's where the first candy tutorials were there was photos you could post events that were coming up i mean it was pretty wild some of the craziest trades i did were out of the U the u.s so i did an australian package with a candy kid named ash if you're out there ash i still remember you and those trades were awesome we did big trades so we did beads and toys and candy. So it was it was pretty cool to see like the beads that they had in Australia at the time. That was a fun memory. And the name of the message board was candytrade.com and then later it was changed to candytrade.net. Now I wish that that message board still existed because there's so much gold on there like so much history it would just be it would be so cool to go back and just read the forms and see the photos but it's been it's been gone a long time now and it was a super cool place to meet other candy kids so I just want to thank Heather like she really impacted us candy kids and I know anyone that was on candy trade remembers and misses it dearly if you were on there you should drop your username down in the comments mine was toy box hearts candy Something cool I found online was this website called the Wayback Machine, and it actually had screenshots from the website. So I'm going to insert those here so you can see, and I'll also add the link in the description box so you can go and check it out. I mean, there you can look up any website, but it's just cool that there's still some screenshots saved from Candy Trade. Okay, now I think I'm going to make my singles. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little story time. It's, it's so wild to look back because... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention... So, you know, Candy Trade doesn't exist, but we do have 
candy patterns. So that's like the new, the new age version for candy kids to go a place for us to go. Okay. So both my, my singles are going to say candy trade. And I'm just going to do some random patterns. Yeah, you guys are going to have to let me know if you were on Candy Trade. And if you remember, but man, if anyone has that website out there, like, let's bring it back to life. It would be so cool to look through all that. Okay, I think that's going to be my first one. So these bracelets are going to be in memory of the first message board. I met so many cool ravers in person from that message board. And I often wonder how they're doing because I don't, don't have any way to communicate or I don't have their new social media. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time today. Okay, there's my second one. what they look like I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I'll see you next time